and good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good people of YouTube. Hope you're watching everything grand and always playing well. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Bus Katana Mark II, everybody, because it has redeemed itself. Joyous occasion that it is. Um, how has it redeemed itself? Let me explain before we start making noises and um, and getting carried away with all that. Um, when I first got this amp. And I did the unboxing video, I was like, yeah, it's, it sounds good. It's not blowing my mind or anything like that. It's not, you know, it's not wowing me, but it, yeah, it sounds good. It's not terrible. It sounds all right. And then when I did the comparison between the Mark II and the Mark I, I was like, the Mark II's nothing, like, it's not even half as good. You know what I mean? It's like, it just, it sounded dull. It sounded like, you know, really muffled and just, there's no, there was no character to it. Whereas the Mark I had a real clarity to the sound and, and the Mark II just didn't. It was just like meh. You know, it was just there was nothing really there. It wasn't inspiring to play through. Um, the distortion sounded fizzy and horrible and they sounded really scooped and no matter what I did I couldn't get the distortions right. And I was just be like, yeah, well the Mark I wins. Anyway, a few people commented in that video, uh, ask, well, a few people were saying like, well the speaker's not broken in yet and you know it needs to, it needs to kind of like, you know, that you know, the and I totally agree with that one. But um, the main thing that caught my eye was the comments of people saying, why don't you try and factory reset the amp? Because maybe um, when it was being tested in the factory or something, they tweaked something and I forgot to uh, change it back maybe to its original setting. So I was a bit like, hmm, it's a thought. But then I was like, I was caught in this kind of weird thing of like, I was afraid to factory re reset it because I was afraid to kind of like, what happens if it's still just as bad after I reset it? I was like, oh no! So I was like stuck in this weird kind of um, kind of limbo. I didn't know what to do. And one night I was just like, you know, monkeys to it. I'm going to reset the amp. So I'll just factory reset it, which is dead easy. You just hold the panel button down and turn the amp on. And then it takes about 15 seconds or so to reset. Anyway, I factory reset it. And I dialed in the settings that I have for my Mark One, and um, because Boss do say, uh, and a few people commented this as well, Boss do say it's technically the same amp with just with a few different features, you know, dual concentric dials, all that lot. Um, so I was like, okay, so I thought, right, okay, well, I'll quickly dial in my old settings um, on the clean overdrive and full out lead tone, my pedal board uh, settings. So I thought I'd dial them in, in one uh, channel one, two, three, and four. And then I, I, and I was playing my white strat and I just started playing some chords and I, I was just like, there it is. The amp came alive, everybody. It breathed, it was all of a sudden there in the room with me and it was alive and kicking and it sounded glorious. And I was like, yes! You know, absolutely awesome, awesome moment. And so for everyone who said factory set it, Thank you very much. And also, let this be um, kind of like a thing. Uh, if you get the Mark II and it sounds meh and just is lifeless and dull, reset the whole thing. Reset the whole amp. Just get it back to its factory setting because maybe this one, when they were maybe quality control checking it or whatever in the factory, maybe they were tweaking something on it and they forgot to restore it back to its factory reset. And as a result, it sounded all meh. And, but I say, as soon as that factory reset went in, it was just like, so I'm very, very happy. I bet you can't tell because the amp breathes, it lives, it sounds really, really good. So I was very, very happy. And it does work on the same settings. So what we need to do now is, this is gonna be the review on just the Mark II. And I'm gonna show you the uh, the effects and the features and how I've got it dialed in. Also, I'll tell you about uh, the EQ I have. Uh, it's the same as the Mark I video uh, i've done a video on that but i'll recap uh we are going to do another comparison between this and the mark one but it won't be till um it won't be for a while because i want to like i say i want to play this one and get the and and basically kind of like you know get that speaker broken in so it's kind of like you know on par with the marked uh, mark one and that that way we should have a really fair test so um so the other comparison won't be for a while yet but uh, I did want to dive in and do a review on this thing because I've got to be honest, I was, before I re reset it, I was like, I'm not going to review it. I, 
I don't want to. It just doesn't sound good, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, and I was just going to put it in the box, sell it, and I've done. And I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad that I reset it, and here we are today. So, uh, today we're just going to go through the sounds. I'm going to show you my clean tone and the, in this film. I'm going to show you clean tone overdrive and full out lead tone. I'm going to show you all the effects as well that it's got to offer. It's a really, really good amp. It is a really, really good amp. I'm still verging on preferring the Mark I. I, I'm still going, well, as much as this one feels and sounds great, I still prefer the Mark One, And the Mark One is the one I would take to gigs over this one. And the Mark One is the one I would use at gigs over this one. I would probably take this as a backup. Uh, but this isn't knocking on the back door of Mark One at this point in time. Um, so yeah, so I'm still undecided. But again, it could be because it's just brand new and still needs kind of like, you know, wearing in, so to say. I'll be back in a second, everybody. My nose is just starting to absolutely... It's like something's up there tickling my nose. Ah, it's horrible. Back in a moment. Okay, there we go. Sorted my nose out. That was horrible, actually. That was horrible. It was like, it was like, a, it was like ants in my nose. Very disgusting. Anyway, move along. Um, so, yeah. So, um, so yeah, let's just dive in. Oh, by the way, never today. I'm going to use the room mic only. I'm not going to close mic during the sound thing so I can talk and, and tell you how I've got the amp set up EQ-wise. Uh, the intro jam you heard was the uh, was mic'd up using the 57, uh, and I was using my pedal board for the intro intro jam, excuse me, and the ditto loop was going through the effects loop. But from this point on, I'm not going to use any pedals. We're straight in, uh, and that's it. Uh, we're not going to use any pedals from this point on, so I'll tell you how we go from there. So, um, and this thing takes pedals really well. So... Uh, yeah, so let's start with clean. So this is the clean tone I've got dialed in. And uh, I'll play a bit first and then I'll, I'll tell you what kind of EQ I've got. So this is my kind of clean tone, which is in that vein of uh, you know, John Frusciante esque kind of thing. <laughs> That's a really cool sound.
good. That's the clean sound I've got, darling. That's really, uh, 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 yeah, thanks. I'll take that one. Okay, so um, let, me, let me tell you the EQ I've got at this point in time. So uh, I'm on the brown mode for this clean tone, which is how I like to get the clean tone out of the V Mark I. So I've got it set on the brown mode at this point in time. I have gain all the way down, so turn all the way off. I have volume all the way up. Uh, bass uh, is at 12 o'clock, so straight up. Middle and treble are both turned all the way down, turned all the way off. Uh, I'm on the red spring reverb, and that's set up at, at 10 o'clock, so it's kind of like there. Uh, then I have presence at 12 o'clock. That's what's adding the sparkle, and uh, and that's it. That and that's how I've got this sound, and it's just really glorious. And again, I'm not using any pedals. This is just the amp. I really want to play Chili Peppers, and I can't. I think Bedroom Lick is the only thing I'm allowed to play, and I don't know how long that'll last. <laughs> Happy days, happy days. And as I say, if I crank the reverb up, it gets absolutely ridiculous and Jeff Buckley-esque. Um... <laughs> That's the... I like the spring reverb in the Mark II more than the Mark I because you've got that splishy, splashy sound of the actual spring. <laughs> that kind of surf stuff. That's not enough. Need more. show you some of the effects quickly while we're on this kind of thing so I'm going to show you the uh, this is the chorus now this is uh, adding the chorus up and the chorus isn't really my kind of chorus but it's really nice it's very mild kind of like 80s kind of pop rock kind of Brian Adamsy kind of chorus tone <laughs> actually it should be kind of like position two shouldn't it? <laughs> kind of sound to me. So uh, that's the chorus. I think the next one's a phaser, but I'm going to leave the phaser to get to the overdrive sound because I prefer it on overdrive. It sounds a bit more Robin Trower, uh, Jimi Hendrix. And this is a flanger for all those uh, Eddie Van Halen moments, which I'm not allowed to play. Thanks, Cycle 13. It's a gorgeous flanger. It's really rich. Sound. 
Okay, so moving on to the boosters now. So these are, you know, other pedals we can add over, uh, more distortion pedals over the top. So I'm just going to crank it to 10. And this is kind of like the orange setting. This is like orange setting, yellow setting. It's like a DS1. It sounds like a DS1. <laughs> Sounds wicked. spring setting and kind of like put the the the, the delay to kind of like 12 o'clock yeah. for days. 
So that's the lay. Uh, then we're on to the effects setting. Uh, and this is the green effect, which is... Tremolo. So I'm going to put the, uh, the, the blues driver on. So the, the mild, I'm going to put the milder overdrive on. I'm going to crank that up. And we're going to use that... Uh, <laughs> Loads of reverb. Where's my capo? One sec. How are we doing for time? We're going okay. I've got to keep an eye on time because I will get carried away. One more tremolo. And I like I like tremolos that aren't ridiculously over the top. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off that uh, blues driver again. So what's on the next effects mode? So we've got auto wah. Does what auto wah does? time being until we get to full out pearly king lead mode for big riffs uh, and then we've got three different reverbs so uh again the red reverb is spring which is my favorite and then we've got a yellow reverb which is i don't know a bit more like a this it's more of a subtle reverb and then you've got the green reverb which is kind of like a play I don't really like that one. It seems to have a, a, a high end to it for some reason, the, uh, the green reverb. Don't play that, that might be copyright as well. Okay, so so that's all the effects. I'm going to move on now to, the, to uh, my kind of more overdriven, bluesier sound. And I'm going to put the phaser on because... It reminds me of that Jimi Hendrix Robin Trowery thing. Oh, I didn't tell you the EQ. Actually, I'll play a bit first and I'll tell you what I've got set up on the EQ. Thank you. 
turn off the, uh, the, the, the phaser, it's just that kind of classic. <laughs> clean sound it's that's clean and then the next one is just a little bit more it's not massively different but I just want it just a little bit more Okay, so um, so that's kind of my overdrive sound, and I quickly want to change guitars because I want to show you it with humbuckers. This sound with humbuckers is really really nice. Uh, I'm going to use an old friend, so I'll be back in one sec. Mr. Lemon Drop, everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I got this guitar out the other week. Well, not the other week, sorry. The other day. Brain on this boy is clever. Um, and it's... Yeah. It's an awesome guitar. I do love this guitar. I really do. It's such an A-sounding guitar. Anyway, I thought I've, I just wanted to use it for... I was playing it last night and I was like, I really want to use this for the Boss Guitar the demo. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to use this instead of a revelation today. Um, so, let me tell you the EQ for this sound at this point in time. So, let me just uh, reset it back to normal. Um, so, for my overdrive tone, I use the lead mode. So, I'm in the lead mode at this point in time. I run the gain at 12 o'clock. So, gain is at 12 o'clock. Lead mode, gain 12 o'clock. Volume again, all the way up. Um, bass, middle and treble. Oh, sorry. Bass, I have at 12 o'clock. Middle and treble, again, I have on zero. Uh, no effects other than the uh, red reverb, the spring reverb. And that's, again, set up at 10 o'clock. So, it's like there. Uh, and then I have presence again at 12 o'clock. So that's how I've got the settings. So, and it just gives me just a little bit more than the clean kind of sound, and just, especially with humbuckers. It's, I really want to play Paul Kossoff riffs and the car. a little bit of a push over to kind of like that blues rock Peter Green Paul Kossoff -y kind of sound you know which I really really like it's a little bit darker maybe even Peter Green's tone but I do love it nonetheless it's don't play it Dave okay so anyway moving along so so that's how I've got the that's how much that's my next sound on here I'm gonna show you so the last sound I'm gonna show you is the big pearly king full out driven tone that hisses at us and does that. <laughs>
Sorry, if that was all peeking out, I do apologise, and I'm sorry to Gary if it was all peeking out. Um, okay, so let me just change the guitar back to my. Uh... Okay, so um, so we are back with uh, Mr. Red. So um, yes, yeah, so I do apologise if I was all peeking. I didn't realise. Sorry, I got carried away. So... <laughs> Sorry, um, oh, I haven't I, I explained how, have I explained how to set this up yet? I don't know. So let me explain quickly how I've got the, the, the my, my full out lead tone set up, because I don't remember if I've done it or not. Oh, I'm getting carried away. Sorry, again. Back in the room. Okay, so this is the final sound I'm going to kind of like show today. Uh, I don't use the clean channel on the, the guitar, and it's really nice, and I don't reuse the crunch channel. It's okay. The crunch channel is okay, and the, lead, the clean channel is okay. But I only really use the brown mode, the lead mode, and the acoustic mode, because um, I, I find the clean channel to be. A, I, I find clean channels in general just to be a bit sterile and a bit uninspiring. And the crunch mode is okay on the katanas, but it's not. It's not my first port call when it comes to that sound. So anyway, this this sound here, the full pearly king, absolute sustain for days, Gary Moore tone. Uh, I have set up. It's on the brown mode again. Oh, by the way, none of these are variations. I still don't like the variation switch, and I'm still having volume problems with variations. So, for instance, give you an example. So, this is my sound. Engaging the variation. Now, I don't know if that's to do with the way I set the amp up or what, but that's just annoying. And in all fairness, I haven't found the variation I like the sound of anyway, so that's okay by me. Uh, the variation switch just seems like an added bolt on extra. It's just like, I don't know, it just seems a bit... I suppose it's all right, but I don't really like the variation. It just sounds too scooped and meh to me. Anyway, so how I've got this last sound set up is I have it on the brown mode. I have gain all the way up, level all the way up, bass, middle and treble all on zero. So they're all turned down all the way. Presence is turned down all the way as well. So presence is all the way down. Then I have the red booster on. And the red booster set at 12 o'clock. So it just gives me a little bit more uh, gain uh, without the booster, uh, which is the bottom one. This is, this is just the brown mode uh, off standby, Dave. enough gain really but I want more so I'll just put the red booster on and just go and if I roll back my volume on the guitar to eight it just gives you a really nice fat kind of car beauty and sound stuff on the neck pickup, it does that kind of aggressive violin thing that I really want where it really sings. <laughs>
very happy indeed. So, so that's the sound. Oh, I didn't show you the octave divider, did I? Let me just show you the octave divider really quick. So this is fun. Katana Mark II. Um, I really hope the room, I want to say I wanted to do it on room mics instead of a close mic so I could talk and the volume I'm at at this point in time, if I go to the loudest sound, the distortion, I can pretty much talk over the top. It's not uh, deafeningly loud, I've got it at this point in time. So I can kind of talk over it. set on the zero the, the 0.5 watt mode and I've got it at the, the volume at this point in time is at nine o'clock so it's not ridiculously loud but it's just enough you know to think and I hope you kind of hear it in the room as well because I wanted to show you what it sounds like in a room not this kind of close mic so uh so yeah anyway um so yeah there we go boss uh, boss guitar mark two everybody uh a lot better than the comparison video and when I got it thanks to the factory reset so everyone everyone who said factory reset thank you very much for the idea it just and made this amp breathe and live so that's wicked so thank you all very much for that uh, and like I say if you do get a Boss Katana Mark II and it just isn't working right it just sounds weird or just doesn't sound any good then factory reset it. it's dead simple like I say hold down the panel button and turn the amp on and what it'll do is if you hold that down and turn the amp on after a while all the lights will light up after a, a couple of seconds all the lights will light up and then 15 or so seconds after that then the amp will be reset and you can just kind of start from scratch So if you get an amp that's a bit iffy do that. Okay, so there we go I do hope you enjoyed the video everybody. I've really enjoyed making this I'm so happy this thing has come to life and I'm so happy it breathes uh, It's super super cool um, Hopefully I've explained all the settings that I use properly uh, And if I haven't just leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll, I'll reply to you of what I, what I did and what not so, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Mark Boss Kadala Mark II. Can I still recommend this over the Mark I? Uh, kind of, but I'm still in the Mark I camp. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, I still prefer the Mark I. There is a frequency in this speaker, and I don't know if it's because it's brand new. I hope it's that. 
There is a frequency in this speaker that's in the 50 that isn't in the 100 in the Mark 1. And I'm hoping that's just because the speaker in this one is not broken in yet and it's going to take a bit of time to settle. But there is a fizz and a high end in this amp speaker, I don't know, that is there, doesn't really bother me, but I can hear it. You know, it's the same as the, the, the Mark 150. There's a fizz. There's a high end frequency that I can hear that when I hear it, I lock onto it and I can't hear anything else. It kind of bugs me. So, um, but it's not a massive negative. You can get around it. It doesn't, it's not the end of the world. It still sounds awesome. So I don't know. But anyway, people of the tube, let me know what you thought in the comment section below to what it sounds like. And I will see you again on Wednesday. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Um, is there anything else I need to say? I don't think there is. So yeah, it's just it's just an ace amp. But really are ace. I still recommend the Mark One though. As much as I love the Mark II now, um the Mark One is still king, as far as I'm concerned at this point in time. Like I say, in a couple of well, in about a month or so, we'll do a comparison again uh between this one and the Mark One, and we'll just see. Uh, how they're getting on and see if they start to sound alike or similar or this one still sounds different. I don't know. We'll find out. But I say, uh, I'll get to that when we play through this one a bit more and it's a bit more settled in like the, my Mark 1 is. So, uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I think I've said that like a million times now. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. I've said that twice as well now, but that's okay. And, um, yeah, goodbye now. Thank you very much for watching.